Hey, it's Lana. You know, the girl who's had a crush on you since we were three. You can tell me. You're saying you can see through walls? So, how many times have you peeked into the girl's locker room, huh? <laughs> Clark Kent, you promised to get me some punch, remember? Oh, sorry, Lana, I got sidetracked. What's this strange power you have? What do you mean? The ability to attract every airhead in Smallville. I imagine you hear this a lot, but thanks. Hold on. Powerful men get those kinds of reputations. And I like powerful men. I know how to handle most men, in fact. It's only Clark Kent I've ever had any trouble pinning down. For me, Lena, just be careful. For you, Clark, anything. Don't forget, you still have me. I... I still have feelings for you, Clark. I knew it the minute I saw you again. Don't pretend you didn't feel something, too. Let me prove to you how good we could be together. Lana, I don't... Mm. So will you. Remember, if you ever change your mind about me, feel free to fly on up anytime. Hey, Lois, at least my network doesn't have to send two reporters to cover the same story. You'll have to introduce us sometime. There's no one currently at the Star Labs retreat if you'd like to use it. Thanks, Professor. Now hang on. Whoa. can't ever use your powers to hurt people. Of course. I'll always respect your benevolent ways. You promise? Mm, wholeheartedly. Well, uh, I guess we're ready to try a night on the town. I am Mala, Superman's second in command. I only want to help people as Superman himself has sworn to do. So tell me, are you guys an item? Yes. I hope you'll think of me, especially on those cold Metropolis nights. Don't you ever cool down? No. What a buddy. It'll hurt you a lot more than me. I'll risk it, will you? So you're the famous Roxy Rocket. You're as smart as you are handsome. Well, with Batman missing, the other crooks in Gotham are picking the city clean. I thought I'd try my luck here. Don't all you spandex boys have club meetings or something? We're not exactly friends. Aw, I'll be your friend. That was close. You're telling me. Does he look bigger to you? The Earth natives call him... Superman. Hmm, Superman. I like those shoulders. And that chin. Ah, oh, our children will be absolutely gorgeous. And if this one's as promising as he looks, you can start ordering the wedding pattern. Whoa, not so fast, legs. Where are you headed? Costume party? I'm here to find a mate. We're in trouble, people. The Superman piece is coming up short. We need to fill two minutes. Anybody have any ideas? Hey! I no. said no. out of my way! Excuse me? I am the Lady Maxima, warrior queen, head of the royal house, leader of all Almorak. And Superman's betrothed. Thank you. As Superman's wife, not his wife, his betrothed, his destined mate. Superman. Yow! And you are? Later for that, Almarak awaits us. No one has ever lasted this long with me. No one. You are my equal. This is the happiest day of my life. I'm... Glad. Oh my goodness, they're hugging. Just don't get any ideas. 
Of course, now you'll have to marry me. Uh, you can't just barge in and make demands like that. Why not? On my planet, I do it all the time. Well, this isn't Almanac. Almanac. Whatever. Here on Earth, marriage isn't something you can command. Marriage is a willing partnership where husbands and wives share the decisions and sacrifices. What planet is he from? <laughs> All hail King Cal! Way to go, big guy! This calls for a celebration. Woo! Yes. Yeah! This is gonna be yeah! Fun. <laughs> Welcome back, lover. Give us a kiss. I'm not finished with you, boy toy. <laughs>